Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in general, uh, I'm clueless when it comes to anime or any kind of anime series or manga or anything like that. I generally have no idea about anything besides Dragon Ball. <laughs> but uh, I saw a game was coming over to the Nintendo Switch and it had an interesting title. It's called, Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon Familia Myth Infinite Combat? Say that four times fast. <laughs> Anyways, the whole is it wrong to try to pick up a girls in a dungeon familiar myth infinite combat title is what attracted me the most to this game. I was like, wow, that is some kind of title. Uh, interesting enough. And then after looking into it, I see that it is part of a series actually. And I was like, wow, I, I did not know that. I learned something new every day. But anyways, this is a RPG game where you try to become the greatest adventurer through dungeon crawling, real-time RPG combat. Uh, and there's also a little bit of dating sim, like date events and simulation stuff in this game as well. So it has a little bit of a combination of an actual JRPG combined with a visual novel. Um, which is a mishmash of genres that are actually coming to the Nintendo Switch quite often. We're seeing a lot of these JRPG style games pop up in the eShop. And interestingly enough, I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and check and look at it. Because, you know, Switch is my primary gaming console. I do have the other two as well. But I'm like, you know what? I want to check it out. Now, real quick, this game is also on PlayStation 4, PC, and funny enough, the PlayStation Vita. I didn't know that thing existed still. Uh, now, in this game, um, you takes place like in Labyrinth City. It's a labyrinth called Labyrinth City, and gods live amongst humans, provide them extraordinary powers, um, and you are playing as a guy named Bell Crennel, uh, who's an adventurer who wants to try to become the best. There's also A's Wallenstein, who's a swordsman, and Basically, in the game, the plot, their their lives come at a, at a meet, like at an intersection and a crossroads and stuff like that. So there's a story here that is pretty expansive, a lot of reading um, that is exclusive to the game, apparently not covered in the anime. So if you're a fan of the anime, you get your money's worth with a brand new story that is exclusive for this. And, and, and if you like visual novels, if you like reading you'll enjoy this game typically i'm not into the visual novels but the saving grace of this game was the actual real-time rpg combat that happens once you choose a quest yeah you get it you can assign yourself quest in missions and they usually take place like in a 3d dungeon atmosphere uh the graphics unfortunately aren't the best these are kind of like i guess cheap looking 3d elements and backgrounds and stuff the dungeons don't really have too much detail to them in fact they kind of all feel and seem the same other than certain assets being changed out like the rock color and stuff like that I, the graphics do initially seem kind of cheesy and hokey but the combat is all right the combat actually the most fun part of this game because it's not you looking or staring at a menu and just choosing and reading dialogue uh, the, the combat's not too bad it's it's real time there's a different variety of different monsters and creatures some of them are really tough though there's there's some light roguelike elements I would say in this game because you have to grind you have to get money of course upgrade your equipment and craft different things but the quests for the most part are pretty easy they start off initially like find your way to the door to the next level in the dungeon Kill a certain amount of goblins, kill a certain amount of this enemy, uh, retrieve this crystal. So it's pretty standard in regards to quest. Um, there's nothing too huge. Like if you're looking for a real expansive RPG experience, like a Final Fantasy or something like that, you're not going to get it out of this. Um, this is more like a basic dungeon crawling type of game with, uh, with a visual novel attached to it. So... It's, it's more about the, I guess, the experience. <laughs> now, there are extra stuff that is unlocked once the story is finished. You're able to take on uh, randomly generated dungeons. So there is a lot of replay value, I guess, if you look at it like that. If you're into just your basic dungeon crawler. This game doesn't really do much to innovate on top of this genre. Uh, again, this seems more like a licensed game for an anime that I actually have no clue about. So seeing these characters and stuff, 
doesn't really do anything for me but i understand some animes have real huge followings and stuff so people might be like why'd you even review this game then eric it's it's just what i do i i like to go out of my circle my comfort zone and check out different games different genres and stuff like that to talk about them with you guys so you guys could check it out now i did mention there is a little bit of a simulator on here um you are able to take certain characters out on dates uh it seems like that's a hit with, with certain games especially these anime based games that dating simulators are a big hit um you're able to uh, strengthen and bond uh relationships with certain characters in this game even become intimate with some of them and do a little bit of that mm -mm -mm. um and they say that this mode is exclusive to the game as well i guess there's certain characters and relationships and stuff that don't happen in the anime again i'm absolutely clueless when it comes to it but overall as a complete package i will say i'm glad that this wasn't solely a dating sim or a visual novel i've played some recently where there was absolutely no interactiveness at all between the game you literally just read a story and just push a when it's time to go to the next dialogue and absolutely boring um the rpg elements of this game i was actually a big fan of uh, because I grew up playing classic turn-based RPGs and stuff. I'm starting to lean towards the real-time combat, though, that you're seeing present in a lot of games, including this one. Uh, I had a lot of fun with that. Uh, even just doing missions over and over and grinding your character and stuff can pass a lot of time. Um, and especially carrying the Switch on the go, or in this case, the Vita as well. I felt this game was enough to pass some time. Unfortunately, I do disagree with the price point. Um, this is physical. This is available physically on the Switch. I assume also on the PlayStation. It's a $40 game. Um, while that is not a full $50, $60 price game, I think that's a little bit too much for what this is asking of me. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the anime to even begin with, so I wouldn't spend it. It's currently on sale in the eShop, though, $31.99 for digital if you want to get that and i'm sure it's comparable price maybe even cheaper on pc so a little bit on the high end but you know what it does have a somewhat decent but basic rpg in it i would say maybe wait for it to go on sale to check it out again i don't know much about it or anything like that and it's pretty expansive but not quite in depth as games as final fantasy and stuff like that so i'm sure there's better rpg games on the switch alone and of course on steam for less you know undertale for example uh so completely different type of rpg though so if you like visual novels rp jrpg elements and stuff you might be a fan of this one but that's my thoughts on it guys comment down below let me know what you think is this something that you would check out something that you might see if, when it goes on sale or is it something that you're going to completely pass on subscribe if you haven't i'll see you guys on the next one have a great day peace out consider supporting 8-bit eric on patreon for just a dollar a month Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.